So now we're going to set up the integration real quick in Okta. So kit configure API integration, enable. So this is a little weird, and it took a bunch of testing for me to figure it out, but let me just kind of walk you through it. So back on my PowerShell screen, so if I look at the raw content of the access token, and I take this, right? I'll show you what. It's kind of weird what you have to do. So you take this. So if you just create, grab this and try to paste it into here, I'll show you what happens. It fails, but let me show you why. So what you end up having to do, and it's kind of silly, is you come in here. Yeah, you, know, you see this with some sometimes, but you would think that Oct would be able to figure it out, but as it turns out, they can't. So I, I guess I just post popped it into notepad plus plus and I'm taking the thing I'm getting it on a single line now watch what happens if I try to put it in again ta-da so you click save so if you recall we called our domain test.com so what you have to go down here is you're going to make sure your domain says what that needs to say then we're going to we're going to import and we're going to add a user. As I almost forgot, one other thing we have to do here is we want to go in, enable for create, and deactivate. Hit save. Now we're back. We let everything work out now. So now you can see we now have one synced user. So if we go and look for them, and there's our synced user popped in there pretty simple you know we mess around with a few things but I mean the real key overall is get that API key in there correctly and make sure that your domain matches what's in here so we've done domain matching we modified this to Microsoft.com during our testing so as long as this domain and domain access match it should go in nice and easy